This is links indexer. And if you work with content or SEO in general, then hang on because this is an interesting product. Links indexer helps us index all of our backlinks so we get the fullest out of our backlinks. So let's put it to a test. For some reason, then all your backlinks are not necessarily indexed and there can be multiple reasons for it, but this is exactly what links indexer solves for you. So if you have multiple backlinks, but they are not indexed by Google, then they don't count as an authority towards Google. And then it doesn't count for you to increase your rankings. But this is what links indexes solve. So let's jump right into the platform. So here we have a simple dashboard where I have added two types of campaigns. Because when you start using links indexer, you can either manually upload a list of all of your backlinks or you can just simply add your sitemap and then links indexer will take care of the rest. But here you can see a dashboard where we can see all of the links that I have added. We can see my campaign down here and over here we can see basically my notifications. Up here I can see just my credit usage and very simple dashboard. But let's move on to the first step which is campaigns. This is where you add all of your backlinks and then links indexer start to crawl those links and then send them to Google to be indexed. Super simple. You can see that either you can enter just a long list of URLs or you can just upload a file here, a simple CSV file or a text file with a link on each line. It's very simple, but here I really wish that they had an integration. It would be so great to have an integration to maybe Ahrefs or SEMrush where we have these backlinks automated already. And they do also have backlinks within Ahrefs and SEMrush, which are not indexed. So an integration like that would really improve the quality of links indexer. But until then, then you can export all of your links from Ahrefs and then import them into links indexer. And that is exactly what I have done. So when I go here to my first campaign, I have 231 URLs. You can see them here. And I have simply just went to Ahrefs exported all of my backlinks and then plotted them into here because I don't know whether they're indexed or not. So now at least links indexer will make sure that they are indexed. But links indexer does a lot in the background and you can see I've just added my URLs and that's it. Here I can see that it's scheduled. It is pinged last this time. It was created at this time and then I can export it. I can't work with the URLs in any way and I shouldn't be possible either. But one thing I feel is missing is adding links. If I want to add more backlinks, then I need to go to campaigns and create a new one. I can't edit a campaign already and add some new links. It's a minor detail, but it can get quite frustrating because every time you need to add new backlinks, it's a new campaign. And in the end, you'll end up with hundreds of campaigns. But that is the manual way. They do also have a sitemap way. And this one is very simple. So here you can add your sitemap and then links indexer will make sure that all your URLs will be indexed on Google by Google in this case. So right now I have added my sitemap here. And again, when I click on it, then I can see all of my URLs here. And it's the same way as we saw before. We have the last ping, the modified, we have the created over here. And if I want to see whether this link here, for instance, has been indexed, then I can click on it and then I'm sent to Google where they're showing it up here that it has been indexed just as a confirmation. We can also see the live status, whether it's live, maybe it's down or it's redirected to another URL. And then over here we can see details. So you can see that this sitemap included multiple sitemaps and we can see all the links that links index have found. So these links are very simple, just being indexed by Google. And you can not say that Google Search Console is doing more or less the same thing. But with Links Indexer, you're just absolutely sure that they will be indexed. And I've been using Links Indexer for some days now, and it seems very simple. And they take care of a lot of the different elements. I just wish that we had more integrations. Now links indexer, they do allow for some automation because they have an API and each of your users, they are using an API or you can at least. So within the API, we can get the links limit and then we can create campaigns. So in this case, you could make an automation between SEMrush for instance and 
links indexer by using something like save here but it does require some coding knowledge so it's not as easy as it could be with a native integration but you can make it happen here so every time there is a new backlink in SEMrush or maybe you just set it up as a scheduled job so once a week then it pulls all the backlinks from SEMrush and then it creates a campaign within LinkedIn Dexter using the API. But the API is only available on the paid plans and they do also have a free plan. It is a bit limited. You can create your own campaigns again manually. You can't create sitemap campaigns and that's about it. But it gives you a great idea of what Links Indexer can do for you in this case because you can create campaigns for any type of backlink and make sure that it gets indexed so your website gets all of the link juice from that backlink. But the pricing is very fair. It starts at $10. And if you have more links than that, then you can upgrade to the premium plan, which costs $100 per year. So again, very generous because you get a lot of functionality and you get all the features that you need in order to index all of your backlinks. So whether it's worth it for you or not is completely up for you to decide. The more backlinks you have indexed, the more authority your website gets and the easier it is for you to rank on the specific terms. But now I couldn't find anything about what they're working on in the future. I do really hope that they will add some integrations to make it easier for us to add all of these backlinks so we get rid of that manual process it is right now of copy and pasting. Of course the sitemap feature I'm a little bit in doubt how much worth it it is because we can use Google Search Console for exactly the same thing and there is an alternative like Rank Math SEO if you're using WordPress because Rank Math SEO also makes sure that every time you publish a new post then they push that post or the URL to Google to get indexed. So it can be discussed how valuable it is. I will say the campaigns that we create manually right now with all of our backlinks, that is where the value really is within Links Indexer. But I want to give Links Indexer three and a half stars. I can see the value of Links Indexer, but I'm really missing more functionality. I feel that this version is still fairly new. We need integrations, we need more features to make it easier for us. Maybe a feature even to find backlinks automatically that has not been indexed by Google. But if you want to take your SEO to the next step and build more content and more SEO optimized content, then you can watch my review of Robinize up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.